So, let's start with Carla. I have to introduce the video first. Fuck. What is up you guys, my name is Gluntenflot and we are back here today with another episode of Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. So, you know what happened last time and we're gonna find out what happens this time. And we are going to start with Carla. Let's go. Hello, my name is Barney. Hello, Barney. Detective Carla Valenti. Nice to, to meet you. Janus, isn't that right? He's down the second corridor on the right. You finished. Fuck. Oh, another power outage. This is six times a day. Not surprising though, it is cold. I have a there. feeling that this power breaks the are going to be a problem for us. Generator. Remember, Janice's cell is down the second corridor on the right. Yep. One of my colleagues is waiting to open the cell for you. Okay, okay. Let's go. I'll be watching you. Don't worry. Thank you, Barney. You, Thank you, you're Barney. the man. Let's go. I wasn't sure let's exactly go, what I expected go. to find out by coming here. Kane was the killer. There was no doubt about bonus that. Bonus points. Bonus points. And yet, I needed to know just what happened in the strange case of the Kirsten killings. Maybe here. Hello, Janos. Hello, oh, detective. We found I'll it. wait for you here. Perfect. Thanks. This is some Hannibal Lecter shit. Hmm. Kind of looks like Hannibal Lecter as well. He's glad to see us at least, that's nice. Nice to feel appreciated once in a while. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti of the New York Police Department. Hello, Carla. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Go ahead. If it's all right with you, of course. Sure. Vis I read in your file that you often had um, visions of some sort. Would you like to talk to me about them? Why have you gone to the trouble of coming to see me, Detective Valenti? I'm mad, you know. What I have to say is meaningless. Isn't that right? Not Maybe crazy. you're not sick. Maybe it's that no one has taken the time to really listen to you. A man and a woman in a laundromat. She's a little overweight, Hispanic looking, him. He has a knife planted in his eye. Nice. How do you know that? I was there. I can see through his eyes. Every one of the murders. I'm there. Hmm. What happened in the laundromat? A sacrifice. A human sacrifice. The killer and his victim. Hmm. Who is the murderer? Nobody knows. Nobody sees him. He leaves no trace in people's memories. But I know. I know he exists. He's among us. Invisible. He's everywhere. Oh, yeah. Why? Why are these killings happening? Why must these people die? Oh, the world's not what you think it is. The Orange Clan are secretly running everything. They're watching us, listening to us all of the time. They record what you say. They know what you're doing each second of the day. They're everywhere. How is this connected to the murders? They want ultimate power. They want the answer to the question of life. They want to be eternal. Oh, yeah. I, I have to go now, Anton. Thank you for your help. Anton. His name is Anton. It's already too late. It's me. We're all gonna die from the cold. It'll be the dawn of a new race. The end of humanity. <laughs> the end of humanity. <laughs> well, he is crazy. 
Let's go. Everything go all right? I'll Shit. Watch it. Damn it. This time it looks serious. What did I just say that about the fucking power? It looks to me like our backup power. electrical generator hasn't kicked in. It'll come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. We'll <sighs> wait here in the meantime. What was that noise? Oh shit. The cell doors. What? All of the cell doors have been opened. The electrical outage must have screwed up the auto lock system. Not so good. What? You mean the patients are free to leave their cells and nothing? Wait. Don't move. Shh. Don't make any noise. We don't want them to locate us here. Just keep cool, and we'll wait for the lights to come on. Relax. Stay close to me. Do I, do I have to steer or some shit? Because I'm going right inside stuff. How do I steer? Oh, I steer with the mouse. That makes sense. So, I was going... Right here means I'm going left next. Oh no! I hear one coming! Ooh. He's getting so close! Please, Carla, don't move! Hold your breath! This is fucking terrifying. He's going away. I can keep moving. I missed that we could steer. That's why I went the wrong way before. I don't wanna. He's going away. Ooh. Keep moving. That's fucking scary. Who the fuck is breathing? I will not look back. Oh, we're gonna have to run now. Fucky, fucky, fuck. Get me out, 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 get me out. Shit. Thank God you made it out. I don't know what the hell could have happened. The auto lock system opened all of the cell doors. You don't say. Are you sure you're alright? I haven't said I'm alright. I feel great. I love playing hide and seek in the dark with a pack of psychopathic killers. Yes, nice. Okay then. I had nowhere to go. Mr. Lucas King. Hey, he didn't change his clothes like I said. Either from the cold or from hunger. I hoped that I could rest for a couple of hours at Tiffany's place. Get my energy back and figure out what to do next. I'd only been to her new apartment once before. I only had a vague memory of exactly where it was, but I was sure that this was the street. Oh no. Watching Tiffany's apartment, of course. Of course. She assumed that I'd show up here looking for a place to hide. <laughs> I look like hell. I have to find another way in. Let's go the back street, boys. Let's go, boy. Oh, it's like the military base all over again. <laughs> Let's just hope the police doesn't guard the back door as well. Oh no, a crow. That means bad luck. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Fuck! Let's go up the tube. Fuck! It's a long way. Hope you don't fall. 
No! Oof. Shit! Oh, I'm timed as well. Why the fuck am I timed? You gotta hurry. Hurry, boy. see me here though. But maybe they're blind. Or maybe they just don't expect someone to climb down a fucking storm pipe drain store. Shit! You're making me have a heart attack. Oh yeah! Where the fuck's our apartment? it in here. Fuck more climbing. Shit loads of climbing. to Tiffany's apartment. If only I could Maybe find a way, way to open it. <clears throat> I think it budged a little. Come on, that new wake fucker. <sighs> it's open a few inches. Come on, then. Do it. What is this? Bonus points, bonus unlocked, story complete. 53%?! We're only fucking halfway in the story. Shit. Oh. Am I doing something wrong? What the fuck's going on? I can't fucking open it. I have to rest my fucking fingers. God, there's no way it's stuck. Guess I was supposed to fail. What the fuck? Can you just have told me that? There's another window over here. Which we can't use. There's a pipe here. Oh no, I'm gonna break the window. Shit. I'm a badass boy. I'm sorry. You should throw that away though. I wasn't too proud about breaking into Tiffany's apartment like a common criminal, but I had no choice. I hadn't eaten in almost a day. I was starting to feel weak and tired. Fuck. Ooh, 
the police are coming. And they're checking under the bed. Sandwich and drinks. Yay. anymore. That's good. Eat some more. Nutella. Hmm. Nothing to eat here. Bonus! Mm, nothing to eat here. But bonus points. You have eaten stuff now. What do you want? What do you want? Turn on the TV. Extremely cold temperatures remain the top story today, with the thermometer dropping to a new record low of minus 15 degrees. Heavy snowfall caused the temporary closing of the... The mysterious care. restaurant murderer has been identified. His name is Lucas Kane, a man Fuck. with no prior problems with the law. He was able to escape last night just as local police officers arrived at his home to arrest him. Tragically, his killing spree continues as he took the lives of an old woman and two others in a laundromat. What his motive is still unknown, but experts say he's most unlikely mentally ill. The police have Thank distributed you. Kane's photo to the media and expect an arrest within... And for an expert's point of view on the subject, uh, we have with us today one of the most renowned specialists on Mayan civilization, Professor Dmitry Kuryakin. Yes, yes, we don't care. American Turn it University off. Here in New York. Uh, thanks for being with us today, Professor. You've written a fascinating book on Mayan rituals. And uh, I wanted to ask you if... A specialist in Mayan civilization? He'd know what Kekdeklan means. Yeah. Gotta meet this Professor Kuryakin. What should we do now? Go in here, which I suppose is the bathroom. Oh, it's the same room. There's something in here then. Newspaper. My pictures in all the newspapers. Oops. I can be identified by just about anyone in the street now. I'm going to have to be very careful. Go through here, which is the bathroom, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you take a leak? You like that. Maybe you want a shower. No? You don't want anything. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh. Counted life. <laughs> That's something. What about now? What am I supposed to do? Can she come home? Something's happening. She's coming home. Looks like she's wearing my jacket. She's gonna freak out. You scared me. What are you doing here? I need help. The police are looking for me. I needed a place to hide for a few hours. Lucas, what happened to you? The papers are saying that you killed several people. Is it true? The whole thing is very complicated. All I can tell you is that I am not a murderer. I know you're not capable of doing what they said you did, Lucas. You have to explain. You have to tell them you're innocent. I've got to find out exactly what's happened to me, Tiffany. That's the only way I can prove my innocence. The police. Lucas, it's 
the police. What are we gonna do? Not Look, hide on the I'm bed. sure they just want to ask you a few questions. Just stay calm, Tiffany, and answer their questions. I'll I'll hide in the apartment. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Miss Harper? Miss Harper, maybe. are you home? Yes. Just a second. I'm coming. Yeah, let's hide in the shower and hope for the best. Stay. That's a bad place. Fuck. They're gonna find me. Oh, fuck. Uh. Miss Harper? Yes? I'm Detective Todd of Miles NYPD. I'm working on the Lucas Kane case. I think that you two were romantically involved, isn't that right? We're involved, yes. But we separated. We broke up about a month ago. Have you heard from Mr. Kane recently? Has he tried to contact you? I went by his apartment day before yesterday to pick up the last of my things. We hardly spoke. I haven't heard from him since. Do you mind if I look around your apartment? Well, it's just that... Hey, I'll only be a minute. Go ahead. We know it's gonna hide. Uh, we're gonna look under the bed. But we don't know about the shower. Doing a little redecorating. Yes, the apartment wasn't in very good shape, so I've been painting it. It's taking a long time with my job. I don't have much time to... And what do you do? I'm a nurse. I work at St. John's Hospital. What happened to your window here? We did it. Oh, that. I broke the glass while moving some furniture last night. The window repairman promised to stop in today, but I guess he forgot me. Fuck. Lucky I didn't hit there. No! Fuck. Don't move or I shoot. This is how my story ends. We saw that he didn't check the, the closet in the bedroom. So if he just does the same thing, that should be safe, right? He's in the room. We need to do this nice. He looked out there, nice. What happened to your window we didn't here? Hit there. We need to do this right. I think we did it. Thank you for your cooperation, miss. If Kane does try to recontact you, please call me right away. Here's yeah. my card. <sighs> Be careful, miss. Kane's a very dangerous man. Nah. I'm not. I'm a good boy. Museum. This is a very long episode. This man I'd barely seen on TV was my last hope. I didn't know what connection there could be between the Mayans and what had happened to me, but at that point, I was ready to accept any explanation that could make sense out of the nightmare that my life had become. Yeah. Oh, look, it's Hitman. Hello, uh, Hello I'm Hitman. a journalist, and I have an appointment with Professor Kiryakin. The professor's waiting for you. What? He's waiting for me. How did he know I'm coming? <coughs> Hello, Professor. Professor Kiryakin? Yes? 
My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist, ah, and I'm so we gathering have an information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religion. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for you, young man. What, um, what paper did you say you write for once again? Oh. New York Times. I write for the New York Times. The New York Times is interested in my work. Oh, and that makes some of my esteemed colleagues green with envy. Yeah. It's, uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar to me. Have we met somewhere before? Yeah, I get that a lot. Uh, I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. Well then, let's uh, have a go at it. <laughs> Where would you like to start? Can you tell me anything about Kweknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. You'll introduce me? Hello, this is Kweknitlan. Ooh, it's the snake symbol. You see before you the ancient Mayan god Kweknitlan, the serpent with the two heads. One head sees in this reality the second in the ah. other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. Ah, makes sense. Could you explain this other world? Shouldn't you or have a world something to write on? Own, the kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believed that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. We know that. What exactly do we know about these oracles? Oh, not very much. <laughs> they were very mysterious. They served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. Can believe the ancient texts, the oracles possessed uh, strange powers. What kind of powers we do you believe this possess? Some passages mention a supernatural life force permitting the oracle to live for several hundred years. Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. Please not. This painting, uh, dating from the first century BC, shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. Fuck. The victim was stabbed three times, each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. Just like all the other kills. The Oracle is not the one stabbing the victim? Oh, the Oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy, another person in the crowd. Totally at random. This person becomes the executor. The oracle takes complete control of the executor, manipulating him from a distance. Yeah, those happen to us. What happened to the executor after the sacrifice? He went executor <laughs> and committed suicide executor. after accomplishing his part of the ritual. A Mayan sacrifice. Hmm. That's what it was. You aren't a journalist, are you? Who are you? Lie. My name is John Cunningham, and I am indeed a journalist, as I've already told you. I think I've taken enough of your time, Professor. Thank you for the information. As you wish. It's a shame, though, that you won't tell me more. Now, if I were you, I'd leave here by the employee's exit. The security guard's been reading an article showing your photo, and I'm afraid that he may soon uh, recognize you. Thank you for your help, Professor.
Okay, let's try it again and see if it works this time. Anyway, I have to end this episode right here. I sincerely fucking hope that we can make this work, the rest of the part. Because if not, I have no fucking clue how we're gonna do it. Okay guys, so I'm back here again, it's been a couple of hours and I've tried to fix this problem. And I think that I actually did fix it. Um, I tried to running it different ways, like uh, running it admin and stuff like that. But I think that it was the recording program that kind of interfered with the, the game itself. So I think we got it up and running now. We are going to try and see, because the episode wasn't finished where I thought it was. So let's play the rest, yeah? So here's Lucas on the ground. In the middle of the fucking forest, for some reason. Ooh, it's the Slytherin girl! Ah, no, it's the Oracle. You I've been looking forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an Oracle. What is there so different about you? I'm the best. Chroma. You have the Chroma. Of course. So that explains it. Doesn't all? How did you ever acquire such a power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. What? Uh, uh, chroma? The Chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. This is some kind of dream, isn't it? You're not really there in front of me, are you? <laughs> Reality is a notion that doesn't have any meaning where I come from. We are not really here, and yet you will die here. Believe me, Fuck. this world is just as real as your own. Enough talk. Other matters await my attention. We will see each other again. In the other world. No! Run, Luki! Fuck. 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 
Agatha. Once again we meet. Agatha? But how? Listen closely, Lucas. Those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl. A perfectly pure soul that's never been incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. Mm -hmm. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. Hurry, there isn't much time and they are already back on your trail. Oh yeah, most exciting. How long is this episode? What the fuck? I must inform you that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. He has escaped you again. First in the museum lot. A big mistake, the museum lot. And then in the wave. What's worse, you showed yourself openly to him. And all for nothing. It's just... I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. Which factors? He possesses the Chroma. That's impossible. Idiocy! How could he possess the Chroma? I know not, but it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to change our plans. This is serious, very serious. That is not all. Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Mm -hmm. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Cain and protected him. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Its chroma was... different. Another clan? That's impossible. Only we are left. We have a rival. Who searches for the indigo child as we do. Ooh, they must not indigo find proxy. the child. That would be a catastrophe. A disaster. Cain is on their side. Unless they are just using him. He is the key. He sees through our eyes. He must not find the child. You must deal with this problem. Definitively. I have already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with. And soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. He will disappoint you because I am going to be the best of them all. in Marcus's church. There's not a moment to lose. I've got to warn him or he's dead. Oh, he did color his hair as well. He listened to me. We should wait, Carla. Backup will be here any minute now. No way. This time I'm gonna get him. The desk guy swore to us that he was in his room and he's not gonna get away. I hope that guy didn't screw up when he said he recognized Kane's photo from the papers. He looked so blind he wouldn't recognize his own mother in a phone booth. We'll find the answer in room 369. This feels like a new episode. So, I think that we have come to the end of the episode because it has to end there. Now we're in a new place. We're both Carla and Lucas again. So, I think we can call that the end of the episode. So, make sure to check out the previous and the next as usual. And if you like the video, please like it. Uh, sorry, and hit that subscribe button because you know it'll make my day, and who knows, maybe yours as well. And until the next video, have a good day. Hey, do.